Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kevin here with Fandroid.com. I'm in New York City at Motorola and Verizon's Droid rebranding event. We're getting a new line of Motorola Droid devices coming to Verizon. Uh, they're kind of a refresh of the Razer phones that came out with last year. Actually, they're pretty similar, but they're dropping the Razer name. In my hand here, I've got the Droid Motorola um, Droid Ultra, and this is a 7.18 meter, millimeter thick phone, um, five inch display. It's running Android 4.2.2, and you can see it's very similar to the Razer um, HD that came out last year. The thinner version, not with the big battery, that's going to be the Droid Max, um, but still a pretty sizable upgrade to the phone. You can see it comes with this nice red kind of 3D finish. It's also going to have a black finish as well. So it's got the, the camera and flash around the back, the Droid name. Uh, Verizon, obviously, volume rocker and power button, headphone jack, etc. So it's going to be, um, again, similar user interface to what we've seen on these Droid phones in recent uh, years with uh, kind of a focus on streamlining the experience. It's not stock Android, but we're getting a lot of cool, um, more of a move towards stock Android, dropping a lot of these excessive features while still keeping some new ones like this uh, control center, which will let you send uh, your video directly wireless to a Miracast compatible TV. Um, you also have a new Droid Zap feature where you can pull in shared photos just by swiping down with your fingers on your screen and you can see it is finding people who are sending out these photos and it will download those photos, put them right in our gallery there, which is a pretty cool feature. Um, so again, it's kind of a modest upgrade, but a decent one at that, thinner, lighter, solid construction, that same Kevlar backed droid feel, but this is an update pretty much to the droid Razer of last year. This is not a Razer though, it is the Motorola Droid Ultra and it's coming to Verizon at the end of August, August 20th, and it should be available for pre-order now. So that's a first look. I'm Kevin with Fandroid, thanks again for watching.